Hey everyone, this is going to be a follow-up video on the scope and access modifiers presentation that I just did. Uh, in this video, we're only really going to be going over like the scope within the same class, just because I said before, we'll be going over access modifiers like later on in this course. So I still have the um, project that we had open from the first walkthrough of today, but if you want to, you can like create a new project if you want. It doesn't really matter. We're going to be working in a totally separate class, so... Uh, it doesn't matter, we won't be using any of the code from the old walkthrough anyways. So I'm going to make a new class. I'm just going to call it variable exercise2. And this one will handle mostly scope, so let's open it up. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to basically establish a variable with class scope, a variable in the like constructor scope, and a variable within the method scope and like print out the values of all and we're also going to print out like where the sum value is coming from so let's get started by establishing a variable in the class scope so you can kind of see right here we already have instance variable that's established in the class scope but let's make our own let's go with a nickname so let's make a string variable so we use the string class name to establish the data type and let's say nickname for the variable name and let's just declare this variable for right now and we'll like give it a value in the constructor and print out the constructor too we'll just like specify that it has a class scope okay so we declared a variable so in the class scope so we can use it in all the constructors or methods within this class let's establish a variable inside of the uh, constructor so it'll have the constructor scope so let's go with let's do an integer so let's make we'll type in the int keyword for the integer data type and what do we want to do let's do number of siblings for like this person to have and let's actually initialize this variable with a value since we can do that in the constructor with what we know right now so number of siblings that's gonna be the variable name and let's give it a value of four let's say this person or our user has like four siblings so we like established this variable in the constructor scope so we can use it there okay now let's establish a variable inside of the method scope change it up let's give let's make this a boolean variable so we'll use the boolean keyword for the boolean data type and let's call this um variable is cool like we don't know if this user is cool or not and let's just for practice like declare it right here and then give it a value underneath like is cool uh we'll set that equal to true because you know they're probably a cool die we'll we'll give them like the benefit of the doubt now that we have established all these variables and you can actually see we already manipulated one of the variables that we established in the method scope within the method scope after it's been established so like this is done correctly let's actually um well first let's actually modify the nickname variable and give it a value let's just do that in the constructor like we did before so we'll give nickname the value of chip because that was my nickname growing up i guess so it's a string so of course you can close in double quotation marks and we'll give it a value chip so now let's actually like print out all this um all the values of these variables um, by calling the system.out.println method call in the right scope so we can actually print everything out of the terminal so let's just go underneath like where all these variables are established in the constructor since the nickname has the class scope it can basically be manipulated uh used basically in all the constructors and methods within this class so we can actually print it out right here so let's do that so system dot out dot print line and before we print out the value of the variable why don't we just give it some like context so we'll say uh this is the nickname variable 
and it has the class build. Oh yeah, also I guess you can say it's a string. You don't have to like do all this typing out, you can just go like and said nickname variable class scope string and just put like a colon. And then we actually need to give it a value, so we will um put the addition symbol. Let me make this full screen just so you guys can see it better. Uh so we put like the um uh, string that we want to kind of lead with, like to giving description of our variable. And then to give it the variable value. Uh, to be concatenated uh, so it can be used inside this method call. We'll just put the addition symbol and we'll put the name of the variable, so nickname. And that should be able to print out this like intro like describing the variable, like its scope, its type, uh, its name, and then give the actual value of the variable. So let's do the same thing in here with the number of siblings variable since uh, this is after it was established and within the same constructor scope. So we'll basically do the same thing. System dot out dot print line and don't put your semicolons while you're doing this because this is Java. Uh, and we'll just go like uh, let's say number of siblings variable constructors scope and last but not least it's an of type integer or you can just put int whatever you want whatever you prefer then colon and we'll add the concatenate the value of the number of siblings variable I'm just typing out the name Okay, so now let's move on to the method scope, just because like that's the other place where we established a variable. So since we established this is cool boolean variable inside of this method, its scope is the method scope after it has been established. So we gotta print it out down here. Let us print it out like we did the rest of them. System dot out dot print line is cool variable uh, method scope and it's of type boolean so let's type out boolean colon space you don't have to do the colon space it's up to you guys however you want to format your string then you'll concatenate the value of the is cool variable so it is cool and don't forget your semicolon because this is Java. So we'll save this. And just so you guys know, when we actually want to run like the code in the constructor and in the method, the constructor's code will be ran when we create this object. But to actually run the sample method code, we'll need to create the object as we'll do using the constructor. And then we'll have to run or call a method or call this sample method on that object to actually run this code in here. So let's compile this code and let's create our variable exercise two object. Okay, so as you can see, it has written out the information that we wanted in the terminal, talking about like this is the nickname variable, it has a class scope, it's a string, and then the actual value of the variable, uh, number of siblings variable, constructor scope and then the data type int, and then the actual value of the number of siblings uh, variable. So now let's go and actually call this method so we can run the code that we have right here in the method so we can see what the cool is cool variable value is and like its scope and all that stuff. So all you need to do for that is to right click on the object or control click if you're on a Mac and then go down to the method's name and I don't know if you guys remember but the method name right here is sample method for the method that we typed all this code in. So we will right click and then click on sample method to call that method. I don't know if I told you guys about this before but like you know methods can have arguments so like they'll ask you to input 
a value, in this case specifically an integer value, into the method. It doesn't really matter right now. We'll get into that later when we actually talk about methods. So you can just put like a random number, a random whole number like 12. And it'll just like return that like value because that's all that it does in this uh, default class. But if we go over to the terminal, it does like what we want it to do, like the purpose that we add that code into. If you go to the terminal now, it did what we wanted to do, like with the code that we added into the method. It has printed out the uh, is cool variable method scope and the data type that's a boolean and the actual value of that boolean variable. So yeah, this will definitely be helpful for the exercise that I kind of want you guys to do. Definitely remember all the stuff that we went over while we were writing the code in this class, like establishing and declaring the variables, um, establishing or initializing the variables with values, um, and or declaring about variables and giving them values later on, and then using the system out print line uh, along with like an introductory string that kind of tells it like oh the num the name of the variable its scope and the uh, type it is, uh, and then like using the plus symbol to kind of concatenate the value of this variable onto it when it's being displayed onto this terminal. That's it for today. Enjoy yourself while you're working on that exercise. Definitely hit me up in office hours if you guys need any help. I'll see you guys next video.